This video shows how two 74595 shift registers connected serially to an Arduino control a display of 16-bit numbers on two bar graph displays. Let's have a look at the components used in this project. We have two 74595 shift registers connected to the Arduino using serial interfacing. The first shift register, the serial in, is connected to D2, and the uh, latch pins of both shift registers are connected to D3, and the clock pins of both shift registers are connected to D4. The serial in of the second shift register is connected to pin 9 of the first shift register, which represents the least significant bit inside the shift register. We also have two bar graph displays interfaced to the shift registers. This bar graph is interfaced to the first shift register through the output parallel data lines. And this second bar graph is interfaced to the second shift register through the data lines. When the Arduino sends a 16-bit binary number through the two shift registers, the least significant byte is displayed on this display and the most significant byte appears here. Finally, we have two push buttons connected to digital pins of the Arduino. When pressed, they will display different patterns on the 16-bit bar graph display. In this first example, we want to send a 16-bit number via the 274595 shift registers. Inside the C++ code, we define the pins for data latch and the clock. Then inside the setup function, we set the pins as output. And inside the loop function, the first thing we need to do is to send a low pulse to the latch pin. This will enable the shift registers to receive data from the microcontroller. Then the next step is to use this shift out function to send both the data and the clock and regarding the data we want to send is this 16-bit uh, number in hexadecimal so F1 would be the low byte and AA would be the high byte. Executing these two statements will put the low byte part of the number in the second shift register and the high byte part of the number in the first shift register. And then finally, we send a high pulse to the latch pin so that the output of the two shift registers are available and displayed on the 16-bit bar graph display. Now we run the code, observing the low byte and the high byte values on the 16-bit uh, bar graph display. In this next example, we want to do a 16-bit count using the two shift registers. So the count would be from all zeros in hexadecimal to all Fs in hexadecimal. And inside the loop function, we use a for loop to achieve this count. Now we execute the code and observe the output. In this last example, we're sending two 16-bit binary patterns to the shift registers. So in the circuit, we've added two switches. The first switch will send one pattern, and the other switch will send another pattern. Inside the loop function, the first thing we do, we call this uh, clear display function, which will send a zero to the shift registers to clear the display from any previous data. And this is the function for the clear display. And then inside the loop function, we check the status of the two switches. If switch one is pressed, then we call this function, which is bar graph display. And bar graph display uses two for loops to send a pattern, which will which will be demonstrated in the next video. Otherwise, if switch two is pressed then the Knight Rider display function will be called and this is the 
function for that. Again, we are using two for loops to achieve the Knight Rider effect. Now we press the first button and observe the first 16-bit pattern on the display. And now for the second pattern, which is the Knight Rider effect pattern. This video has demonstrated the use of two 74595 shift registers to control 16 LEDs. In a future video, I'll use the two shift registers to program EEPROM AT28C16. Thank you for watching.